Viking is not tickling anymore, and you know it. Let's talk about the Gladiators for a moment. The team that destroyed the current TI champions by 2-0. to zero. Oh, I do love 2 0 in TI winners. With a recently changed roster and also is playing with a mid laner that Peru loves so much, CCNC, also known as Quinn. If you are reading this, we fucking love you, man. Thanks for being such a strong player and going to Europe just to shout, shut some haters up. Your story is the kind of tale we love talking about. We all just want to see you keep succeeding after your last Xmas show, beating Team Spirit by 3 to 2. We chose to believe this is a major winning team. Let's put TI-11 and Stockholm Major in the past where, they, where it belongs and keep our hopes up for the Lima Major. We have to say it again, your DPC run was amazing. Bring that energy, put up a show, and get ready for the finals. Because it's going to be hard to get there, but you can do this. Do it! Here to see how you do it. We love you, Quinn, before the eSports team. Let him cook! is like the first 13k. I think Makoto's really high skill. I don't really have much of a read on, much of a read on them besides that, that those two are like very high skill core players. I think that's sort of like that team's mantra is just like have high skill core players and then like, I don't know, just like play Dota. The game goes long, like they're, they're just high skill players. Uh, that's generally my read on them. It's very interesting because the, the new DPC season, it's so short that you, you actually cannot watch other regions because you're asleep when everyone else plays. In SCA is interesting. I think they've been having a rough time recently. It would be nice if they to get the step up again, but yeah, I'm not sure what to think about SEA right now because maybe SEA is a lot better than people think because some good teams like Boom even dropped the Division 2, so it's hard to say I think, but it should be fun to play them. Interesting series, <laughs> super long games. I don't know. I felt like the second game should have been easier than the first. We were super happy with our draft and how it was set up, but I don't know. We made too many mistakes, but they, they also played really well. I, I felt like our draft was 10 times better, but they were playing really good. It didn't feel like our draft was that much better. So I don't know. They just played way better than us in that game. Don't think there was too much more to say about it. They just played really good. <laughs> Yeah, maybe a few things. I mean, you can always learn something from the end, but not too much from it. You shouldn't overthink it either. Yeah. We, if you overthink it, then you're gonna change everything. But we, it was just not our best game. I'm with him in a total. 
Oh, man. Welcome back to the Lima Major. The group stage continues and smoke tongue for Spirit. Oh, just a hook shot in from Tofu. Big damage from Quinn. They're going to blow up both of them. Collapsing and Boschka slaying Mira into the grave. Oh, the scouting rocket flares allows Quinn to jump. Telekinesis is there and a waning rift too, but GG's called. Collapse. He says he's had enough. He can't carry this game as Magnus and Gaming Gladiator is going to fountain dive to finish this game off with a flourish. Vamos, GG, dale, dale. Yeah, but he's, he's a beast. Uh, I'm just pulling it out like sometimes. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah also just since the Liquid series, the game wasn't going to see where he lost to Magnus. He wasn't just hard enough. Like, I don't know, he felt like he was being surprised or something. Yeah. Sure. Stuff, but it's like not even close to the same. Here's Tempe. No. Yeah, they find Yadarol first. They stun him out as he tries to rebound himself to safety. And it's gonna be a little bit of a turnaround, killing off the Raichu, takes Azusa's damage. In fact, is still alive, but Laurel finally finished off by Quinn, who also catches Mira thanks to that extra vision. Tofu is the one that kills off Yadarol, stealing that Spirit Breaker ultimate. Ace comes in with a host stomp, collapse, in trouble, silence, collapse. Can he run away? Of course not, he's an old man with a stick. He's already game. up against Mega Creep, so they have one last hurrah making this game a little bit more interesting. The Supernova, there's a last team fight for them. Can they break it in time? Yul Center will control the Nagasari. They don't have enough attack speed to break the egg. Oh. Ooh, the Mighty Style! They ready to dodge. The spell didn't work in his favor. Instead, they couldn't break the egg. In comes Ace, though, killing off Floral in time. That's a dieback for him as Miposhka is trying to finish off Duracho. The help him, they just profit as well. Duracho's being chased after, but the healing soul rip keeps him alive. And that will send its mirror to a surefire death as Quinn gets killed once more. I got to tell you guys for a I guess I do the two hours. That's good. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spiral's fine. Don't press the button. Don't press the button. It's like when he's sitting with me. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, bro, like, it's 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 we feel good, we feel like we should do good, but then we still need to do it, so <laughs> I'm happy we did it, uh, it felt really nice. <laughs> it's very interesting mind games for the draft especially, we're talking for like 20 minutes if we should pick Dire or our first pick or second pick, and we just, <laughs> we just keep on talking, oh but this, but that, it's hard to choose. The team, like with talent, it's like, okay, we don't know exactly what they do, let's just do this, but the spirit is way more to think about, you just keep on thinking this, that, that, so... That's pretty interesting. First game, uh, first game, Anton played really good. Ace was really uh, uh, Maybe he's just on start and use one good ult. That's all, <laughs> that's all that I remember. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I just probably Ace. I think Ace played more solid. I mean, casual Ace of Muran, what can you say? Yeah, uh, maybe it's not It's like new. nothing new. <laughs> it's nothing new, but he did it again, you know, so. He did it again. Really uh, I mean, he got lucky. He had, a, he had me in his lane last <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, yeah, but now we play E Home and Tundra. E Home Tundra? Yes. 4 0. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm going to next days. <laughs> <laughs> 4 0 and pool. 4 0. And Sana? I don't think this team is good to be honest. I'm not sure. I don't believe in Chinese teams. Like, only Aster and PSG can show something, but PSG has standing on their post three, so they are not in the full roster. I don't think E Home is that good. I mean, they third place on their DPC league, if I'm not wrong. I think we could just go to zero on them, I hope. Uh, I'm a salad fan. Anyone who makes changes their user, anyone whose username is cat feces and they change their username for cat feces to salad is, uh, is a beast. So I'm an e home fan. Uh, I don't know, I, I just want to play against a guy named Salad and an official that's hype. All right, yeah, so the e home team in particular, um, their salad is quite a cool name. But uh, I think that the Chinese Dota and the, how they play it in generally also over there in Ehome uh, as well is that they play a bit different. They have their own style, like uh, they will weight certain heroes very highly suddenly. They will, for example, just ban mid heroes uh, whenever they play each other in the first ban phase. I'm not sure why they do it, but they do these things. They just do th things differently and 
Historically, also what was always interesting in Dota is when these teams are clashing from the different regions because you would actually see which region had the best ideas and had, have the best understanding of the game. For the Mage Prophet, Selby gets taken down on the back line, but Ace with a two man stomp. It's going in onto MPS. In comes Gwen, says hello. The Ursa, can he stay alive? Oh. Long enough. Actually, the damage on Ace is pretty impeccable. <gasps> Stole the snowball. The snowball safe from Tofu. Coming in, keeps Ace alive. Will they keep him alive? No, he's eventually going to get taken down tonight. His entire team is already. Nagasan is not going to die easy at all. Jump in onto MPS. Uh, Ursa is just going to get cracked. Duel on the salary on the side. And it's again the snowball save to make sure nothing happens well, in that fight. Shall you oh. get chased down? Not the target. You pretty much want to jump and duel, but that one's a better one. Quinn's gonna get gone on very quickly. Sonic Game to the man of seven. The no, the overgrowth comes up. Lost the heal as well. Quinn's gonna be just fine. Drag back tonight. And the last pick. Uh, oh, GG. Oh, GG. Okay. Okay. Holy fuck, that was a Cooper song. Clapped. Yes, I'm talking about those TPs, Max Save. Jeez! <laughs> Big plays. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Mike and Sonic Game. Uh, did you expect some nice revenge? I'm not kinda happy we get to play them again now. So it's never nice when you're losing at someone, so now we instantly get to return the favor. <laughs> I mean, this team is definitely good. We play versus them a lot in DPC, on some other tournaments, Bad Boom for example. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, but I feel like this opponent is good for us. Like, we feel confident when we are playing versus them. I hope we're gonna beat them 2-0. It's gonna be more chill than 1-1 one -one or like, I'm not thinking about the lose at all. So yeah. I mean, this team is good, it's the I winners, what can you say? And like, meta is not really changed a lot from the TI. It's not patch coming, I mean, patch gonna come out after the Major. So yeah, this team is good. It depends how how mode is gonna be in their team, I think. <laughs> or how is like people gonna feel them before the game. So yeah. I mean definitely better than other tournament. I think I know I specifically, and I think as a whole we were just a bit off that tournament for a variety of reasons. I know me specifically especially played been pretty thinking horrible as both those series. Um, and those issues have been rectified. So, you know, you can never promise anything and there's a lot of good teams in the tournament. You know, they're both European teams. I think, you know, all the European European teams will probably be the strongest opponents, but yeah, you can definitely expect better. I think we have pretty good chances against both of them. It'd be a pretty good series. I wouldn't say I don't really care that we lost, but like I care that we lost, but it was due to outside factors, I would say, because we had some personal issues with some players, being it travel or like they're in a bad mood or something within the family happened or whatever. It was like unfortunate times where we just couldn't perform to our best. I think under normal circumstances here that we're just gonna beat them. Like, I think we're better than them. Tragedy. Here is the base in trouble for Tundra. And uh, so is, so is uh, Snaking's life and, and Sax's life. Let's see. Okay, so it's gonna start with Saxa dying. See, what, see, see how much Nine can do. Look at the wall, Celery, and out to the wall's ace. Caught by the Glide there, Duraccio's heading in with the BKB. The Dream Coil will catch on to nine. Duraccio moves in to take down the Sniper. Skeeter's caught in the Static Storm. He's dead, triple kill for Quinn. And there they don't even get anyone. GG. Duraccio's just going to stand his ground with the BKB. Nine's now going to try and get in on top of the Lina. He'll turn with the Skeeter. Ground. Over towards Tofu, Skeeter is, is going to get cleared up by the Gush. And now they can turn with the Ravage on to nine. It's going to be nine going out of the game once again without any chance of a buyback. Same for 33. They're cleaning it up here, Cricket Gaming Gladiators. Come back, man! That's what I'm talking about, man. Good shit. Gladiators. Clappy Will, baby. I'll take you go. Good, bro. Give me a good chance, bro. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Oh, is them casting? Yeah, I mean, like, 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 like,
And it's like, that backpack, it's ready, it's like, bro, no. yeah. Please, <laughs> not to be a fly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a useless fly spell. Yeah. Because I forgot that they changed it. I thought I was fucking gonna own it. Oh, it's yeah. actually not bad in some games, but it's really? only games where you can be a gig child and fucking you push them into your team. Or um, out of your coil, maybe? Okay. Yeah, you like coil them and you push them backwards and break coil into your team. That's, mm -hmm. that's what you do with the eggs. That's but you need, stuff, you need to be really fat to do that. Yeah. Like, I, can't, I have to be a giant cuck that game because they're just waiting to eat Echo like, all the time. Yeah, literally. Yeah. So I, I that one time. The, the that one time you got Echo together? So Oh. oh, I do I love 2-0 TI winners. Two TI winners, you guys do. Yeah, it's two days in a row. Two days in a row. Oh, I got four more. I actually don't think I can kill you. Who runs that account? It's, 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 it's just some uh, old Quincy crew people. Uh, uh, figure I, I messaged them on Twitter and asked them. It's three uh, guys. Okay, so it's three you guys. used to be like uh, Quincy crew people. Uh, what are cool funny. people? So we might like they helped uh, with running yeah. some stuff and they uh, were like part of the Discord stuff. Uh, uh, it just sounds interesting, like it's complete. Like yeah, no, <laughs> it's, 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 it's people who are like affiliated with the secret. The picture of uh, here. 